we're going to compare the personal loans offered by Net Credit and Rise Credit. We've spent years in the lending industry and we track dozens of lenders. We're going to bring that experience to bear to help you make a decision on what would be best for your personal finances. Both of these lenders extend credit to people with less than perfect credit and who are not able to get credit from a traditional bank or credit union. In the non-prime space, it's not unusual for the loan details to be dependent on the state in which you live. So I'm going to give you a good view of how these two lenders stack up against each other. But you may need to look specifically at what they offer in your state to know what you can expect. Let's start with the loan amounts that these lenders offer. Net Credit's minimum loan amount is $1,000. Rise will lend down to $300. But this is the first example of how this might differ depending on the state in which you live. There are only five states where Rise offers are as low as $300. A majority of their states offer a minimum of $500. And there are a handful of states that have higher minimums. Net credit is even more diverse. While they have some states that lend as little as $500, most of their states offer a minimum of $1,000. From there, they have a smattering all the way up to $5,500. I'm going to highlight Rise because they provide more flexibility on the low side of lending. If you just need a few hundred dollars to avoid taking out a payday loan, Rise might be the better option. On the other hand, if you're looking for a more substantial amount of money, net credit will lend up to $10,000 in all of the states that they lend in. Rise credit tops out at $5,000. I'm going to highlight net credit for having the higher loan amount. Net credit offers terms between 6 and 60 months. 60 months seems like an awfully long time to be in debt, even for a $10,000 loan. Rise credit will lend as short a term as 7 months and as long as 36 months or 3 years. Longer terms will keep your payments lower, but it also means paying interest a long time. The early months of the loan will also feel like you're never making any progress. If you go with either one of these companies, you will want to be particularly aggressive about making extra principal payments in the first six months. That will save you a lot of money on interest and get you out of debt faster. Now let's look at their APRs. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. These loans should only be used for short-term borrowing and only for emergencies because they aren't cheap. Net Credit's minimum APR is 34%. Rise's minimum is much more dependent on the state in which you reside. Their minimum is 60%, but they only offer that minimum in about 20% of the states in which they operate. It is much more likely that you will experience a minimum of 99%. That is decidedly higher than Net Credit's. So we will highlight net credit. Net credit has a range of maximum APRs, which will depend on the state in which you live. You can see that their most common maximum APR is 100%. They have a handful of states that are below 60% and a chunk that is 155%. Rise also has a spread of APRs. They span between 60% and 299%. You can see that their most common top APR is 149% though. In general, net credit has the lower APRs, so I will highlight them. These APRs tell you a lot about who these two lenders will approve. I think net credit lends to people with poor to fair credit. I'm guessing that they approve people with credit scores between 550 and 650. Rise, I think, skews more towards people with poor credit with credit scores between 540 and 620. Net credit will charge an origination fee between one and 5% of the borrowed amount. Rise does not charge an origination fee. The origination fee is a percentage of the borrowed amount and comes out of the proceeds of the loan. So if you borrow $10,000 and have a 5% origination fee, you will receive $9,500, but you'll still need to repay the $10,000. Remember that the origination fee is accounted for in the APR. The APR is the origination fee plus the interest rate. All things being equal, you want a lower origination fee if you plan on paying the loan off early. Paying off early will save you money on interest that you would have paid, but you don't get a reimbursement for the origination fee. If you're late on your payments, net credit will charge you between $10 and $15. 
Rise doesn't charge a fee at all for being late. Keep in mind that you will continue to be charged interest on any late amount. So being late isn't free for Rise loans and can be more expensive than it looks for net credit. It will depend on the interest rate that you have with them. We'll highlight Rise since they don't charge a fee at all. I have mentioned that the loans that these lenders offer are heavily dependent on the state in which you reside. Well, that's true of availability as well. Net credit offers loans in these 36 states. At the beginning of the year, they offered loans in Washington state, but no longer do. RISE only lends to 28 states. If you live in the Atlantic Northeast or a few of these Western states, you won't be able to apply for a RISE loan. I will highlight net credit for having a bigger footprint. You would really only borrow from either one of these lenders if you have an emergency and if you don't have anywhere else to turn. In the case of an emergency, they can act pretty quickly. They will both make a decision on whether to lend you money within minutes of you completing your application. The funds can be deposited into your checking account on the very next business day. So let's summarize what we found. The most important fact about personal loans from net credit and rise credit is that they are expensive forms of credit. That means that you should only borrow small amounts for short periods of time. Net credit is generally cheaper and lends to more states. Rise charges fewer fees. Both of these lenders will make a quick decision on whether to lend to you and for how much. If you have poor or fair credit, it can be particularly challenging to know who will extend credit to you. Each lender will have its own algorithm for making lending decisions. You might be denied one only to be approved for a better option. That's why it's so crucial to shop around. You owe it to yourself to seek out the best deal that you can get. At the Yukon Project, we've tried to make shopping around easy. If you visit our Marketplace page, you can apply to any one of our featured lenders, and behind the scenes, we will check your rate with up to 40 other lenders. Our partners use a soft credit check, so applying won't hurt your credit score. We will show you all of the approved offers so you can pick the loan that's best for you. If you have any questions about net credit or rise credit that we didn't cover, leave a comment below and we'll try to get it answered. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.